It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Big Willie Styles, Big A King. We three kings in the building, man. Welcome back, fellas. What's going on with you, man? Big A, what's happening? Man, you know, <laughs> the week I had, man, it was good to see some, some the big blue in the big house, bro. Yes, was, indeed. Yes, indeed. King, man, what's going on? Man, it's... <sighs> <laughs> I'm ready to get things going, man. Let's get the season over so we can get to the draft and all the fun stuff. What season yeah. you talking about that, King? What season? I'm, talking, I'm talking about the Pistons, man. I'm, I'm talking oh, about, you know, yeah. I can focus on my Lions draft. You know, they, they both come right after. So, I mean, well, one, well, you know what I mean. But, uh, uh, yeah. This, yeah, both of them. I'm ready for the summer. I'm ready for, ready for the weather to break. I'm ready to get going. Listen, hey, I, I, go ahead with me. No, I'm saying, listen, I'm with you on this weather breaking thing because, um, your boy was down at the spring game today, uh, the other day, man. I, I froze my ass off down there, man. It was just <laughs> come on, let Michigan got Michigan weather got to do better, man. I've been there the last couple of years, man. And I'm listen, it, I want to be a little bit comfortable being down there, but this damn weather got it's April, man. We shouldn't still be going through, you know, saying winter storms in April, but you know, of course, we call it Michigan weather, man. Hey man, we we getting the same thing down here in New Mexico too, man. Nah, nobody like, care about them damn New Mexico. It's like, look, man, it's like <laughs> winter time. Go ahead and leave, man. Like, not enough for you, man. Yeah, we do, man. But listen, it's it's, uh, it's gonna get better, hopefully, man. But uh, let's jump right to, of course, you know, you see, we got on the Michigan gear, man. So it's, it's some things we got to discuss when it you know comes to the Michigan program, both the, you know football and the basketball. But we can start off right off the top with the. Spring game, man. Uh, of course, uh, this Saturday, the spring game, well, down in, in Ann Arbor, man, seeing a lot of the talent that we have available, man. And um, it was some some surprises and some not surprises at that game, man. But big game, man. What was your feel about it? What did you notice? What did you see that 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 got your attention? Man, you know, uh, I got a chance to watch the game, man. And the, the things, it, it was a lot of things that stood out, but that defensive line and that offensive line is going to wreak ha havoc this year. Like, I think this has been the deepest we've been on in the trenches on both sides of the ball in a long time. Like, when you look at the edge, man, you got Jalen Harrell, you got Brandon McGregor, then you got Derek Moore, then you got Josiah Stewart. You know what I'm saying? And that's just your edge. Then when you go inside where the big boy is at, you got Chris Jenkins, you got um, Mason Graham, you got Kenneth Grant, you got Rayshon Benny. I mean, the D-line was just flying all over the field, man. Then when you go to the offensive side of the ball, man, we all know, you know, starters at guard, right? You're looking at Zach Zinter, Trevor Keaton. And then it looked like the starting center going to be Drake Nugent. And then your tackles, you know, it was saying Ladarius Henderson, you know, the transfer coming from Arizona State. But then again, you looking at who was out there playing. You got Christian Barnhart. You got Trent A. Jones. You know, then you got G.O.L. Hardy at guard. Then you got Raheem Anderson at center. I mean, like I say, both sides was just deep, man. And Most definitely. Trenches. Yeah, that's the trenches thing. You know, can't, um, also, forget about you know the wideouts and the running backs. Um, yeah, being there in the building, man, it was it was fun, but it wasn't so fun because it was hard for me not to be able to, to, to concentrate dealing with the cold weather. But yeah, I did uh, notice a, a few things um, being being at the game, particularly um, looking at the backup quarterback situation. You know, we got you know the the transfer from Indiana Tuttle. That was out there that looking to be possible the the second string quarterback i think that's something that uh, a lot of people was wanting to look to see who was going to take the reins and you know he started the the spring game with him and mccarthy and then they moved to to the other quarterbacks but he, he looked it pretty good looked, looked it comfortable uh passing and running running the ball um a couple of receivers looked at um pretty good uh one that i seen that uh really stood out to me was o'leary had a had a great uh spring game. Uh running backs, you know, Mullings did his day. And then we got this this uh young guy, Hall. 
Oh man, Benjamin Hard, man. Listen, Benjamin Hard. That, that I mean, this was a statement for him because you know a lot of people were saying you know he didn't have such a great senior season, so uh, his stock kind of went down. But uh, everybody that had seen him, you know, as an early enrollee when he was down there practicing with the team for the Fiesta Bowl, everything everybody could said, man, his legs, his legs, his legs. You know, he got them tree trunks for legs, man. And it just really showed, man. It just really showed. And then you just think about, I mean, like I said, we're just deep all over from the the tight end. You got Coastal Love. You got uh, Matthew Hitmer. You even got the transfer, A.J. Varner from Indiana. I mean, big, 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 big tight end too, man. I mean, seeing him big in, one, dude. Yeah, seeing him in person, like, yeah, he he has the size. I mean, if you guys in the comments, if you guys, any of you guys was there, you know, saying go ahead, and give us a shout out, man, because you know, I know I wasn't the only one there suffering. <laughs> you know, and then you go, you look at the linebacker position. Look at Ernest Hausman, man, causing fumbles, man. You know, uh, it's, it's great to see Nakai Hill Green back. You know, and then you go into that secondary. You know, you got. You know, Macari Page back there. You look at Zeke Barry. They saying, you know, he's the heir apparent to uh, Mike Sanders still. You know, you got, uh, you know, uh, Keon Saab. I mean, we just, man, we're deep all over, dude. Yeah, I mean, and of course, deep, you know, uh, during the process, they, they had the draft, and the number one draft pick was uh, Kenneth Grant, and he showed out. Man. It, it just, it, it gives you some enthusiasm what we got uh, ooh, coming ooh. up. Who was that he steamrolled, man? I can't tell you who it was, but I know. Um, man, he man. rolled somebody like Peter, man. <laughs> like, sh- dude, I mean. And then, and then, like, Josiah Stewart, man. The way he comes off that ball, man. Dude. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just. It's, it's looking to be a spoil of riches, man. It's definitely looking to be a spoil of definitely. riches, man, that we're looking forward to. Uh, of course, it was, it was some guys. Of course, you know. Um, you know, the running backs, Edwards and um, Blake Quorum didn't participate because they're still uh, getting um, better with their injuries. Uh, and a few other guys that didn't participate. But it it just shows you, you know, the depth that we we build in, in this program. Yeah, man. And, you know, when you got guys like Blake Quorum and uh, Donovan Edwards, they didn't need to play in that game. The only reason why J.J. played is because he didn't play last year in the spring game. You know what I'm of saying? Of course. And, uh, I know a lot of people they giving him uh flack for that pick that he thrown. But you know, uh I I, I like where we at as a team, man. I, I'm loving where we at as a team. You know, man, you know, we we didn't get to celebrate. You know, we, we had a show plan for y'all for the Jaden Davis uh commitment, man, but I had an emergency at home, at school, had to go pick up my son and you know, mm-hmm. it was just a, a rough day, but uh you know. We we go we gonna get into that as well, but we're gonna, we're gonna bring us a, a guest in, man. One of our guys, man, has always been showing us the support. Our guy Blueprint J is in the building, man. What's good with you, boss? What's going on, y'all? What's going Chill, on? I'm glad man. Man. We finally got you on the show, man. We've been trying to get you on here for a minute now, man. You finally yes, was able to, to grace us with your presence. I see. You know, I've been seeing what y'all been doing, man. So you know, what I'm saying it's only right I come show love for real. Appreciate it, man. So, well, give us your take, man. What you got, you know, what you seen out there um, during that spring game, man. Well, you know, before uh, you go on that, let, give, give us the proper introduction, man. Let him introduce himself to the people, man. You know, okay, what if, he do and everything. Uh, for sure. Well, um, most of people know me on Twitter, Blueprint J. Um, I've been kind of, I wouldn't say running the Michigan community, but. Uh, Having my foot in the program, talking to the players, um, got a great relationship with a lot of guys in the program, coaches, um, stuff like that. So, um, and I'm I'm transitioning into um, being a football recruiting reporter for the Michigan Insider. So, um, make sure y'all tap into the Michigan Insider twenty four seven Sports. Get y'all uh, y'all membership, man. Y'all want to miss anything Michigan recruiting, man? Go ahead and tap in with that. Now is that uh, all Michigan crew? Is it just strictly football? Uh, everything, baseball, hockey, uh, basketball, just about everything. We got everybody, uh, a little bit in every program. Okay, for sure. We're definitely gonna dive into that. 
uh, in regards to the Michigan group because you know we, of course it was a you know a big week for Michigan recruiting. But we, as like I said, we want to get your your opinion on that spring game yesterday. Man, uh, I, for it to be a spring game, that was a hell of a game. Um, some 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 young guys looked at good. Uh, Kenneth Grant was out there beasting. Uh, Josiah Stewart, the transfer from Coastal Carolina, showed some burst. Uh, Derek Moore looked good. Benji Hall. I think that was really the head scratcher for everybody, too, as far as seeing him do what he did yesterday. Um, the guys look good, though. JJ looked a little, he looked a little sloppy early, but I mean, some, some friends is uh, freaking out about the shit, man, but uh, it, it ain't nothing to freak out about. It's a spring game. So, um, of course. But yeah, he was throwing some dots. But yeah, I, I think the, the team as an overall looked good, especially the offensive and defensive line. Yeah, they looked at, you know, deep and big, man. Them guys is, is huge out there, man. Seeing them up close, you don't realize how big that line is. Yeah, they they got some big boys now, man. I, I remember those days with Don Brown and having 240 pound defensive <laughs> tackles, man. That yeah, that that's out the window now. So I'm glad they got the big boys up front. Listen, we, me and Big A was just talking about that. How they always were trying to convert these linebacker slash Carlos ends. Kemp, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, Carlos Kemp. I listen, man. I love Carlos Kemp, but he was not no defensive tackle, man. They had, like, y'all, y'all, they had y'all, bitch y'all Mason missing. down there too, man. Yeah, y'all missing the one with um, uh, man, I can't think of his name, but when we was playing Wisconsin a couple years ago, and they had the safety. Uh, damn, I can't think of his name right now. But they had a safety on the goal line as a D tackle. I'm just like, what's going on, man? Like, what what is what is he doing? So yeah, them days out the way, and I'm um, it's it's good to see Michigan football finally back on top. It sure you know, does. And, I, and I like in those Don Brown days, man. Like, it irritated me so much because we went away from what Michigan football was, and it was more of just trying to. Just blitz, 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 blitz. And it was like, like you said, we didn't have those run stuffers in the middle, you know. I remember when Aiden Hutchinson got hurt because he crossing face, you know, through trying to go through a guard and center. And it's just like, all them days irritated me, man. Horribly. Like, ugh. Yeah. Most definitely. So, Blueprint Joy, I know you just, you just said that, you know, say so you're, you're going to be on that um... – the recruiting side and you know this past week like i said we were supposed to do a little special show on uh but you know since circumstances uh changed that but michigan has been hot on this recruiting trail you know including uh recently getting the the big five-star recruit jane davis how you feel sure. about that man um i feel good about it man um it's been a long time coming um it's it's I'm glad, and I know for y'all too, y'all glad that it's over with. Uh, we finally got our quarterback of the class. Um, and I think for, for things going forward, it's, it's definitely going to uh, attract a lot of guys, not just this class, but the next couple classes going forward. No, I totally agree. It was like, you know, like, it, you know, a lot of people was getting on Jaden Davis for, you know, kept pushing the thing back, but it was just like, you know, with the hardball situation with the flirting of the, you know, the NFL, and then the whole thing with Matt Weiss, and it was like when they finally got comfortable with Weiss, and then, you know, his situation happened, but, man, we, we got to put some respect on Kirk Campbell's name, too, man, like, yes, he sir. hit the ground running, man, and, like, he's already in the next class, so Kirk Campbell is, uh, he's doing his thing, man. Most definitely. And, you know, I know if you, you know, you watch the, you know, the presser with uh, Jay Davis, you know, they talked with his dad and his dad was saying that, you know, this recruiting thing should have been over back in November. Uh, but there was mm-hmm. an issue, like you said, dealing with the, the Matt White situation. And then, of course, you know, there was a the Harbaugh rumors of the NFL that kind of made them take a pause. But like I said, they spoke with with Harbaugh and they indicated, listen, you know, Harbaugh was a straight up guy and was straight up with them about him staying here. So that was a plus for us. And I'm glad that they was able to get that through, but it did cause a little bit of pause. Like you said, blueprint J we was angst to try to get this over with. Cause we've been 
you know, crystal ball for this young fella for a while now. I know you know <laughs> more know more into it than than what we we do. So give us your take on like that whole recruiting process when it came to you know Michigan going in and out when it came to the, the recruitment of Jaden Davis. Um to be honest, man, like I wasn't even worried about the whole situation. Um, it was really just a matter of when it was going to happen. Obviously, we didn't want it to happen too late going into the cycle, but uh, I think it was perfect timing. Um, but this this whole process of just watching it and uh, kind of being in a little bit in the, in the middle of it and knowing a little bit of stuff, uh, it's been a blessing, man, um, to finally snag them five star guys, especially a quarterback at that. Um, I think this is probably this. I think this is Jim's first five star quarterback. Everybody could say JJ was, but uh, you know how some of the rankings got uh, some of the rankings guys do. Uh, once uh, a guy commits to Michigan, they kind of bump them down in the rankings for some odd reason. But um, I wasn't really too worried about the whole Jaden thing. Um, I think Michigan did a great job of uh, getting him on campus as shit as many times as I. I can't even count on my hand. It's, I, I, it was I a lot. It, it, <laughs> it was, was definitely a lot. a lot, especially with uh, his teammates Shannon Goodwin and uh, Jordan Ship. They've they've been on the uh, same amount probably, but um, it's it's definitely a blessing to see this man. And uh, I I honestly think Michigan had it was a holiday Friday for real for Michigan fans um, to to finally see that, including with the uh, or Jordan Jordan Marshall. The running back commit, him making that surprising commitment. Yes, um, that was. You see Jordan and Jaden right now leading the class is is definitely going to be special. Yeah, those two commits, it it definitely is going to, like I said, a lot of fire with that rec- that twenty four recruiting class because now they can get a a heads up on it. And you know, it was a lot of recruits that was at that spring game too. Of course, I know uh, Jay, you 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 aware of that because, like I said, you on that 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 side of it, so. What do you feel like that them making those, um, you know, choo- choosing to, to come to Michigan does t- to the other recruits that we got out there? Um, as far as like the offensive line, that's the biggest. That's the biggest kind of. I, I wouldn't say concern. It's kind of a good thing. Uh, a good thing to have as far as uh, trying to figure out how many they're gonna take at the offensive line spot. Um, I'm hearing six, maybe seven. So. Um, to see that even the top guys, top 100, top 250 type guys um, are even taking a look at Michigan. We even got, um, I think his name is Brandon Baker, the number one offensive tackle in the country. He's coming on for a visit this weekend, actually, too. So um, Sharon Moore ain't playing, man. They they uh-huh. definitely they definitely showing um, that they're that they're here to stay, that Michigan is here to stay and uh, and ultimately try to win a national championship we you know what i'm saying the big 10 is cool but we as michigan fans want to see that next step in and at least win a playoff game to get to that to that yeah. natty man because it's got to happen it's most definitely got to happen especially with the talent that we got here with you know the guys is coming back the offensive line looking like they're going to be uh a, 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 a three-peat when it comes to the best offensive line uh in the country in my opinion uh, so it's a lot that we got to look forward to, man. So it's definitely an exciting time in Michigan football. But we also got to talk about, you know, a little bit of downside to it because when we got that announcement, something else got announced as well. And that was, you know, I know you in, into it with, with, you know, Dickinson transferring, man. How did you feel about that when that news dropped? Uh, it was just kind of odd that this shit happened. Um right after I, I think it was literally probably like an hour or two after Jaden Davis had uh decided to commit to Michigan so it was just kind of weird but um honestly man I, I think Michigan might be a lot better this is this is my opinion before the whole Kobe thing uh I think with Dickinson leaving I think Michigan would have been in a better position to to flow better as a team mm-hmm. with him out with him gone um He's. I think he was there what four years, three, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So three. So it, it's it's like I I haven't honestly haven't seen no improvement in him. Um. So I think it was kind of best for both for both the school and for Dickinson to kind of move on. Um. But now with seeing that Kobe decided to go into the draft, man, I don't know what the hell is going to happen. 
Um, I know they got to hit the portal hard. I, th- I feel like Jawan is definitely going to hit the portal hard. Um, he still has a couple guys to kind of bring back. So uh, it's it's hard to tell how this roster going to look, man, by the time the season starts. But uh, hopefully they get it together. Yeah, most definitely. And, you know, with uh, with Dickinson, I feel that, like you said, it was going hard for him to to try to get his footing because they, they was already honed in on him, like him being double and triple team all the time. It's like, it, it, it was going to be a repeat of that again. And like you said, I think they Michigan may be better without him because like, it's going to open it up. They're not, they're not going to know who to hone in on going into next season. So that could be a good thing, but also be a bad thing. If we don't get no guys that's, that's going to be here and established. So we got talent. We just got to, you know, get something rolling in regards to that. And then like we said, with Kobe Bufkin, you know, entering the draft. Yeah. That transfer portal is definitely going to be hot for Michigan right now. I just I, I I kinda agree with him. Like the thing of Dickinson being honed in, Zach Eady gets honed into and like Dickinson been the same from since he stepped on campus and ain't added nothing to his game. So it was about either he was gonna it was about time to separate that. But yeah, the mm-hmm. Kobe I think the Kobe Buffy thing hurt it more than Dickinson to me. Kinda hard to add to your game when you built as stiff as he is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. That's that's what I was. That's my whole thing is I know ball, right? So uh, I think Hunter maybe ten years ago going into the league would have been a perfect fit. You know what I'm saying? He he would have been kind of a perfect fit. But now the way how athletic these guys, these centers and power forwards are, um, even with the with the kid overseas that's about to be drafted number one. He, you see what he's doing that. I think he was like seven five, four, so yeah. it's 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 crazy yeah. to see um to see the the athleticism that these kids have nowadays, jumping out the gym, shooting like crazy. Um and so I, I think he his game is kind of throwback. Uh yeah, it's a throwback yeah. game. It's a throwback game. So that's why I, I feel like in my opinion that Michigan would be a lot better without him. But now with Kobe gone, they definitely they definitely gotta hit the portal. It's no yeah. question about it. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot of question marks going on with with, with that basketball program. But I know uh, you know some questions coming about you know Jawan Howard and his job security, which for me I don't think it should be. But we got a lot of fans out there calling for his job or saying he's on the hot seat. Man, that's a, that's a tough subject because a lot of people was doing the same thing for Harbaugh, right? They after the twenty twenty season. COVID, COVID year was that year in general was just was just horrible um but they were definitely calling for hardball's head after that year and then now look what happened mm-hmm. so um ja- I, Jawan, I, I, still I, I was waiting i was waiting at least you admit it i still call yeah. i still don't i'm still yeah. not impressed but i didn't call for his job but i definitely they say he was happy yeah, I, I see you. I see, I'm sure. just saying, I'm just waiting to win some 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 championships. I feel you. You know, I, I mean, getting getting to the dance is one thing, man. But bro, hey, hey, listen, we we got to start winning something. That's true. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's why I, I, said, I said this year. This year definitely like yep. natty natty or bust. Like that's that's just my motto right now. Um, so I, I think definitely with hardball, I shit. I think he going into year nine, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think if, so. If I'm not mistaken, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, it's it's time, man. It, it's definitely time for Natty. But as far as Jawan goes, um, he still he still got some time, man. Um, if this if this would have happened his first year, they would have been calling for his head. So um, a lot of fans are bipolar as hell too. So. Yeah, I think they oh, you know yeah. they got short term memory loss. Like you said, two years ago we won the we won the you know the, the Big Ten and, and was in the Elite Eight, and if if uh, Isaiah Livers wasn't hurt, I had a, I think we had a great chance of winning it that year. And then last year we was in the Sweet Sixteen. Yeah, this year we, we we took a step back, but I think the expectations was championship from get go when he got in. It was like a lot of people got to know how this game worked. We lost a lot of guys to the transfer portal, being seniors, and to the draft. Like I said last season, we had two guys that was first you know first second round picks in the draft, and now we got another couple of guys that's going to the draft. So that's going to take a process. Uh, for us to get through so you gotta understand like this guy got guys in this program that's going to the league so it, it ain't that bad 
you know, another thing what people forgot to realize, too, is what he took over, too, man. You know, from when Harbaugh took over, we wasn't recruiting Michigan well. We wasn't even recruiting Ohio well. So, I mean, look where we at now, you know. Like I said, we going into Ohio backyard, taking a, a running back. Like they said they trying to backpedal now. Jordan Marshall was the number one player on their board. You know what I'm saying? And that man committed to Michigan. You see, they got their third option. You t- yeah. I don't know if y'all seen it, but they definitely got their third option that just committed to Ohio State. So, yeah, they they've been sick. They just been they yeah. they've been trying to think about uh, spring game attendance. I'm like, come on, bro, like. Y'all, y'all really that low that y'all got to talk about the spring game attendance when they doing construction right. on the stadium? Like, right. it feels good, though. It and then the people, don't, the people, people didn't realize that, too. Yeah, we, you know, they are uh, rebuilding, you know, the, the scoreboards and that. So they had half the stadium cut off. Um, and then, like I said, the uh, section of the station, uh, of the stadium on the other side, they had the recruits sitting over there, too. So, of course, you know, it, it was a little bit different. Plus, it was cold as hell, man. Listen, I ain't going to lie. I was, hey. I was, I was trying to survive. And I was, I told Jay, I know you're gonna be out there. I know you see you won't go make it, but goodness gracious, man, man, I wasn't playing about that, bro. Like <laughs> I, last year at the spring game was cold as hell. It was. Um, I don't think no sun came out at all. The wow. 2021 season, that spring game, that was a nice, that was a nice, a warm game. But yeah, these last two years, man, it's it's definitely been too damn cold. Yeah, I'm t- oh, checking yeah. the temperature next year, man. I ain't going out there if it ain't above fifty. <laughs> I ain't you know what? You know one thing though. I I do like I want to like this staff, man. You know when you're looking at clean scale, clean scale, all you know Mike Elston, you know just I mean just the whole staff. Like like Michigan is like in the league from guys in Texas. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we had a guy a top guy from Texas in a while, man. And it's like, you know, from Blake Fraser. I mean, we we still in it for Tatum, the running back, you know? Yep. Yep. You and know? be on the be on the lookout for that one. Like for real. Be be definitely be on the lookout for that one. That's that's a one that and I've and I've talked to Tatum um plenty of times, but uh yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to say what I could say. Oh, without gotcha. saying too much, you know what I'm saying, but gotcha. it's 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 definitely that that one is definitely one to look out for because I think I think personally that Michigan can land him also. It's it's right. definitely better for Marshall to commit first yes. rather than Tatum commit first, and then you know that would probably lead to Marshall going somewhere else. But yeah, I I, I think with um, Mike Hart, he's definitely been going into, into Texas as far as the running backs. He's been. He's been offering a lot of Texas guys, so it's it's definitely good to see them going down south and uh, getting some of those guys down there. Yeah, and the That's thing different. I know with Tatum is, you know, he loves the baseball program also because I know he's a dual sport athlete. And you know, like you said, the thinking was it's great that Marshall committed first because I even love Tatum. You know, when he was asked about how do you feel about Marshall, he's like, oh, there ain't nothing but a little bit of competition. You know, what I'm like, and you just gotta love that, man. You know. <laughs> And you know, with the system we run, I mean, you need two running backs, man. So last yeah. year we needed three. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. But yeah, we got we it's a plethora of riches we got going on right now, man. But uh, most definitely, we're gonna be looking forward to more recruiting news and all uh, blueprint. You gonna make sure that you know we stay up to date on that info, man, with your, your Twitter page. So, man, I want you to make sure you know. So you give a shout out to uh, to yourself right now, man. Let us know how we can you know stay in touch with you. Um, you can follow me at Blueprint J. Um, it's just like how it is on your screen. You can uh, follow me on IG. I just made an IG for the whole recruiting thing for 24-7. It's at Blueprint J 24-7. Um, and like I said, make sure y'all, uh, you know, tap into the Michigan Insider 24-7 Sports. Um, we got the best people over there, Sam Webb, Bryce Marriage. Um a lot of those, uh, I, I got some amazing guys in that circle, man. Uh, Sam Webb is an amazing guy. Um, I'll run through a brick wall for him, bro. Um, hey, you to get Sam Webb, hey, look, listen, Sam Webb don't duck no smoke neither. Mm-hmm. Like, people be talking mess, and he, he keep receipts, man. I He's love crazy. Sam Hey, listen, we're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to get Sam on the show one day, too, as well, <laughs> man, because yeah, he definitely be, he be on it for sure. That's that, that's that.